it's your girl Ali Carolina and welcome back to my channel. I'm so so excited that you guys are here today and yes I am recording the intro at the end of the video and the reason for that is because I was doing my makeup and I was getting ready um, to go to the appointment and so anyways you're gonna see what I mean in a second so let me not confuse you and let's just jump right in so for this video, I'm going to be updating you guys on why I haven't been active on YouTube, what's been going on with my life, and so yeah, I'm going to take you guys on a quick trip to get my sonogram done for my uh, 17 or 18 week checkup, and we're going to find out exactly how many weeks along I am um, based on the measurements of the baby. So if you're interested, then stay tuned and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already check it out so anyways i am doing my makeup right now um elizabeth is in the room with me well in the office and um i will update you guys as i do my makeup funny story i had already told the story i had already done my like cream on my face and my eye shadow is already put on there um but my phone decided to stop recording and so here and so now I have to do it again, but that's not a problem because that's why we're here, right? So anyways, um, what I was saying was that the reason why I haven't been on YouTube for a long, long time is mainly because I needed to focus more on my school and also my job. Um, as most of you guys know, I was working as a substitute teacher and that definitely took a lot of time um, away from me and you know me doing my normal everyday activities um, because you just got home tired you know like you're basically the teacher for the day and you know if you take your job seriously you're gonna try your best to be the best and you know keep your class um as secure as possible and as close to as what the notes say that the teacher has left for you so anyways um with that being said ever since i started working you know i was only doing like one or two days a week because i didn't want to leave elizabeth um with my mom for too long and the reason for that was because elizabeth was really really used to being with me and i didn't sorry and I didn't really want to um lose my time with her and so anyways I was like all right you know I'm making money on the side um I'm enjoying my time at work it's not frustrating for me at all and I loved it and so anyways that plus me going to school um although it was online it did take a lot of time like I do require at least two hours every day to you know one hour to see what i'm doing online and then another hour for like projects or homeworks or stuff like that and you know i try to do that as much as i can every day you know monday through friday saturday i don't do anything i don't even touch my computer i don't turn it on i don't even look at it unless we're doing a movie um but other than that i don't i don't do anything on my computer on saturdays school wise and Sundays, I basically turn everything in um, for the week. Like if I have like a project or something that I've been working on, I'll do all of that on Sunday. And it's usually Sunday after like five because, you know, it's still my weekend and I still have things to do. And so anyways, we still got things, you know, we go out, we go to my mom for breakfast and we stay there for breakfast and for lunch and you know then we come home we do dinner or whatever but anyways so yeah guys that's the reason why um mainly to focus a little bit more on my important stuff you know school and family and with that being said school and family what yeah so with school and family being a priority um, throughout those days, hello, um, we actually found out that we are expecting baby number two. So yay, 
we're expecting baby number two and today i'm actually going in for an ultrasound um we're gonna see i already know what it is but i haven't told anybody and so anyways we're gonna do the gender reveal pretty pretty soon um but today we're gonna go and we're gonna see the baby yeah we're gonna go see like how it's growing and you know what you know what's new and just make sure that everything is good um, so anyways, the doctor really, really wanted to see me. I know that we're in a limited shelter in place here where I live in this part of Texas. And the reason for that is because um, there have been a few cases of uh, people showing up with the coronavirus. And so anyways, I have not gone out. We have done self-quarantine ever since we came back from El Salvador. Um, while we were in El Salvador, you know, everything was great the day we flew in and then the next day the whole country was on red alert and the reason for that was because they found out that somebody had came into the country with the coronavirus but they didn't know where he came in from and so he ended up going into the, um, into the hospitals and they found out or whatever, I don't know. If you want more info on that, just Google El Salvador coronavirus. Um, but anyways, we were fine. We really didn't get to do much because of the fact that the whole country kind of shut down. So we did get a chance to go to the beach. Um, and if you guys wanna see like a quick glimpse of our trip, you are more than welcome to check the video prior to, I will probably link it somewhere over here. So if you see it pop up, that's because I was able to link it. Um, and if not, it's the El Salvador trip um, video. So you guys can kind of see like what we did. And other than that, we just spend it with family. Um, I haven't been to El Salvador in like 21 years. It's going to be 21 years. And so it was a pretty fun experience going and, you know, visiting the people that saw me for the last time when I was four years old. And now they see me pregnant with baby number two, husband, and I'm like 25. And so anyways, I'm really not 25 yet, but I will be soon. And so um, it was pretty fun, but like I said, we didn't really get to do much. Um, so we're hoping for trip number two, once everything kind of like calms down and you know we're able to do a little bit more stuff. So with that being said, um, my makeup is done. I didn't do anything crazy. I just did my eyes because I really needed to. I haven't done my eyebrows. I did them like a week before leaving to El Salvador and I haven't done them since, but I really don't care because all I do for my eyebrows is I get a cleanup. And so anyways, it's still my eyebrow shape. Um, but anyways, we are going to finish getting ready because my appointment is pretty soon and I have to drop Elizabeth off because she is not allowed in the hospital. And although I am not allowed in the hospital, there is a specific wing for maternity. So I am able to go in through there and then up to my OB and then check this baby out and be out because your girl's not trying to get coronavirus, especially not while I'm pregnant. So I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna finish getting Elizabeth's ready and Elizabeth's things and I will see you when uh, we are done. So I'm in here and I'm getting ready to do the sonogram. So exciting. excited as you guys could see that the baby is growing healthy and everything is going great so I'm really really excited the doctor said that 
Um, we're gonna do our anatomy scan tomorrow and the reason for that is so that I can get everything done as quickly as possible and that way I don't have to keep coming out um, and visiting the hospital itself for any type of appointment um, and so yeah I'm very very excited so it's official guys as y'all could see um, we know officially the gender and no I'm not gonna tell you guys but um, yeah, we're gonna do the gender reveal pretty soon, so stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, I'm really, really excited. So I stopped by at Starbucks to get something to drink, and I'm taking a Java, Java chip frappuccino for my little sister because she's been taking care of my daughter. And so anyways, that's my way of repaying her, a little Starbucks. So yeah, that is it. If you guys have any questions um, or if you guys even have like, you know, any unique ideas for the gender reveal, um, I already know what it is, but my family's gonna find out what it is. So we're pretty excited to do that. Um, but like I said, if you guys have any, any crazy ideas or unique ideas for the gender reveal, just let me know. Keep in mind that we are in the house so we can't do anything like crazy outdoors um and regardless we don't even have the space to do anything outdoors so we got to do something inside and i have a couple of of ideas so anyways with that being said i'm gonna let you guys go now thank you guys for watching and um please like comment and subscribe if you haven't already so i will see you next time bye